impact on the quality of the processing furnaces is uh, is a key. Uh, and uh, I think we, uh, concerning the, the processing furnaces, we have less um, the the problem of energy efficiency, but more the impact on the quality of the product. I think the, the idea of um, the Commission as a whole is to back industry, but at the same time try to make industry help itself by being more efficient. So there shouldn't be anything like, a, uh, ideally at least anyway, uh, where you have an environmental set of regulations which should uh, put a, a stress, such stress on an industry or a particular plant that it, it starts to make that plant think, is it worth remaining in business? So we have to see what is the right solution, gas-fired furnaces versus inductive uh, heaters, so that we can see what is really the, the, best, uh, uh, the best value in, 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 in relation to the consumption, but also on the price. Uh, much more difficult becomes it now in Italy and in some other countries, because uh, as a result of the economic crisis in Italy, there, the Italian banks have problems to find more and more problems to finance the Italian uh, manufacturers, and that's a more problem. But in Germany, I believe most of them are very well positioned, and the bigger international companies like uh, Tenova or LOE uh, Italian Impianti do also a very good job, in my opinion. If you look at the market, the market is large, the market will grow. Uh, you have a relatively level playing field compared to some of the other markets in the sense that uh, a lot of it is driven by entrepreneurs, people who take investment decision based on the value that you bring to the table. So in that sense, it's an environment that most uh, companies know how to handle and deal with. Uh, uh, 对这个节能减排啊，就是能源排放啊这些东西都是非常重视的。Inside Chinese government put a lot of attention to this energy consumption issues。呃，我们呃，宝钢，呃，对这个节能减排，还有就是对这个钢铁业的这个长期的稳定的发展，也都是非常重视。also, whilst they pay a lot of attention to the stable development in the uh, own industry for the energy consumption. And the Indians are keen in that kind of, of solutions to reduce the energy costs, but which means to reduce the production costs. And that is different uh, to some years ago. Some years ago, if you told an Indian customer, we have this, this vehicle and this vehicle and this, they said, I like everything, give it everything to me. And that changed a little bit in the last years because they are focusing on energy, on energy issues. That's really true. If you really want to get things done in India, then the only thing need, that you need to do is actually similar to what uh, you've seen in some of the other countries, such as Singapore, and that is really uh, a focus on enforcement. I come from an area in the UK which has been decimated industrially and that's to do with the ceramics industry in Stoke-on-Trent. Now a lot of the reason why that industry was decimated was that the chief executive officers of the very same companies chose to export those jobs to areas where the wages were much cheaper and probably where the environmental regulations were much weaker as well. So we now get the same products, allegedly, coming back into the European Union with no stamp underneath, so you don't know under what conditions these products were made. And basically, do we all want to have a race to the bottom where no laws are passed and where those that are passed are seen as kind of uh, optimistic uh, maybes that, that may not be obeyed? Or do we want to maintain uh, in Europe, what is often that the flip side of the coin that you see in today's conference is what is the unique selling point of many people here in the audience? It's quality. And the quality also comes from high environmental and energetic standards. So we enjoy, of course, this technology basis we have in Europe. And therefore, we can develop together with my colleagues um, in, in short terms 
um, very effective and competitive technologies. Um, and therefore, we still are in a competitive situation. And Shelgas, I have heard that the United Kingdom will start a tax subsidy program, or uh, yeah, I call it tax subsidy, uh, to develop uh, the methods for uh, fragging and uh, to explore a little bit more in, um, in, in new fields of uh, shell gas and to calculate a little bit better uh, how much you can use it. I believe that's the first important step. Perhaps we have the chance after the elections in Germany that we will go to a more easier discussion concerning uh, the shell gas phenomenon. I'm still very much convinced that we um, have the chance in Europe to stay competitive. Uh, you know, I worked for two years in Brazil and um, I, I love this country, especially I love the way the people are uh, um, how keen they are to improve, how they uh, try to improve qualification. But the problem is what we just discussed before, the network. Still, the infrastructure network in terms of transportation, of energy supply, gas supply, is not competitive in Brazil. And this is still the big backbone of our capability in Europe. And this is very difficult to compete with. Uh, because it takes a long time to create such a network. I think as a, as a German plant supplier, we have only one chance to survive or to grow. We need innovative products. This is our goal, not only to supply mechanics, no, to supply mechanics, electrics, automation and technology. And if you have this package, so then I think as a Ger also as a German company, we can survive. First, uh, the fact that business is moving east and south is a positive thing because it lifts people out of poverty. Second, I believe that this is not a zero-sum game. Third, I do believe that uh, we will see challenges going forward, not only in terms of competition in the low and mid segment, but people will move up the value chain and challenge uh, uh, the companies in Europe also in the higher segments. This is inevitable and that clearly means that uh, uh, companies and also politicians need to work together very, very diligently to make sure that we can re-industrialize Europe. We need to, obviously it's a bit like trying to gauge happiness. To, uh, to try to re-industrialize Europe, we need to put some actions on the table. I'm very optimistic with our high innovative skills so that they can even survive in the near future. I see a good future for heat treatment in all areas. Uh, I hope it will be also uh, well enough in Germany uh, because we need our industry here in order to grow and maintain our uh, competences. But even if we are shifting uh, eastwards, um, clearly German engineering is appreciated and I also believe it will be in the future. And if we maintain to stay innovative, uh, we should have a good market in the future as well. We hope to be able to 或者是合作研究，对这个钢铁工业发展能够留下一些痕迹的一些技术。we hope we can do a lot of development by ourselves, also a cooperation with other company, companies, but we can keep some uh, footprint in the history. Great, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of you.